gamers, do you ever just get pings all the time? I swear on Discord, I get pinged all the time and it gets annoying hearing the same ping. So today I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom Discord notification sound. Anyways, we will be using Better Discord. Now, of course, Better Discord is against Discord's terms of service, so that does mean that if you use this, you can get banned. However, I wanna make it extremely clear, using the plugin that I'm showing you in this video is not one of those plugins that really get you banned. Discord only cares about like message loggers that breach privacy or auto-changing statuses that just spam the API. So if you understand those risks, then we want to click on Download V1.8.4. This will be the first link in the description. We wanna to go to the second link in the description, Notification Sounds, and just click on the download button here at the top right. Then what we want to do is click on the Better Discord installer. When you open up the installer, you want to click I accept the license agreement, click on next, click on install Better Discord, click on next. Then you will see all these Discord versions. Now, if you have no idea what Discord PTB or Canary is and you just downloaded Discord off the website, you want to click on the one at the top. However, if you have Discord PTB because you have like multiple Discord accounts or you just like using the public test beta, then you can click on that. However, Discord Canary doesn't work right now, so I'm just going to uncheck those and install it to normal Discord. Discord and click on install. It's going to go through the installation. It's going to restart your Discord. And once it says install completed, just close that bad boy. Now, since we already downloaded this notification sounds plugin, we can minimize our Chrome browser and open up the Discord. Now in Discord, what we want to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can just see what's going on. We want to go to our user settings. Then we want to scroll down and on the left, you should see better Discord. If you don't, uh, just keep trying to install and uninstall better discord until it works okay that's the, that's the, that's the only advice i can remember so far but anyways we want to go to plugins and then you will see this thing here we want to click on open plugins folder and it'll actually open up a folder in your file explorer you may need to do a little bit of digging in your taskbar to find it but then what we want to do next is we want to open up our downloads folder so i'm just going to scroll up right click on downloads open a new window i'm going to do this in two windows because chances are you guys don't have any uh, file explorer tabs like i do because gosh i use Windows 11. Then what we're going to do is we're going to drag the notification sounds.plugin.js into this folder. And when we do that, Discord's going to say library missing. We just want to click on download now and it should download BDFDB. Make sure that's enabled. And then you should see notification sounds. Enable that bad boy. We now have notification sounds. Now, the way this plugin works is that we need to click on the settings and this shows us all the sound configuration settings that we can choose. So there's settings at the top. This is just global notification sounds volume. Then we can add a new sound. So this is where we add a custom sound. We have sound configuration. And at the very bottom, there's a lot of sounds you can customize we have removed sounds and this just allows you to remove all the sounds in a category or whatever but scrolling up to the top what i'm going to do first is just show you sound configuration so you can understand a little bit of the layout so we have category which we could choose a category so there's nothing discord chaos nose giving uncle and yachty yes there's a lot to go through so first off i want to click on discord and these are just the normal discord sounds so if you want to rearrange anything then you can just rearrange them if you don't hear any noise this is very important. There's two things that could possibly happen. First off, you could be on streamer mode. I'm on streamer mode, I need to disable it. And the second thing is you might need to go to your notifications and just make sure that disable all notification sounds is unchecked. And I would also double check and make sure all these are enabled, all the sounds, so that there's there's nothing messing around, okay? Then we could go back to plugins, go to our settings, and from here we should be able to change the sound configuration. So call calling, there you go, it's the normal sound we're used to. However, we can do chaos, which is just... Wonderful, right? This makes me want to use Discord all the time. But anyways, you have a whole different variety. Now I'm just going to quickly go over the different sound packs. Chaos is basically a whole bunch of random stuff, right? It could be a little funny at times. We have Snow's Giving from the actual you know, from the actual Snow's Giving event, if you still want that. We also have Uncle, which I think is pretty funny. Knock, knock, who's there? You know, it's just an uncle guy talking with all these sounds, and there's a lot of them, right? Yellow. Dang, Wi-Fi off? Anyways, I'll let you explore those because they're pretty funny, knock, but I just want to go... Knock, there? Thank you, Uncle. The, fi the final one I want to talk about is Yachty, okay? I'll pick it up, man. This little boat calling you. This once-in-a-lifetime chance. Fool, pick up this call. So maybe these sounds aren't up to your speed, you know, you don't like little Yachty or you don't want someone's uncle yelling at you. So we could click on add new sound and we just want to name it a category. So if you have different sound packs you want to make, then you can call it a sound pack. This one, I'm going to call it meme because yes, my message noises are going to be memes. Well, at least one of them because I'm too lazy to find the rest. The sound name 
this one's going to be great. Fart, right? So you just name it whatever you want, just something you can recall. And in the source, you need to browse for your file. And you just want to click on the sound effect that you downloaded illegally off the internet from someone's YouTube video. Please don't tell Susan or my channel will be deleted. But anyways, there's the wet fart meme sound effect. Just going to click on save. And now I have a new sound. The sound fart was added to category meme. And now what I'm going to do specifically is I'm going to scroll down to message, direct message. And keep in mind, this plugin does add a little bit of new sound. So if I just click on this, that'll be your DM sound. So you could change it back by just going to discord and then going to message wherever it is message. Oh, oh geez. Where is it? Message. There we go. And now it's back to normal. But for me, I want it to be meme. <laughs> And I want it to be the fart sound effect. Oh, wonderful. Now, the reason why I have it as the fart sound effect is that basically when I'm on Discord, every time I get a DM, I swear it's just my brain exploding with uh, noxious gases and I, I, I lose my brain cells almost every single day. Now, before I go super chaotic with my, my final masterpiece that I'm going to have of this video, right? I want to point out a couple things. First off, you can actually do something called a focus mute, which basically the sound does not play when the channel the message was sent in is currently opened, which is, you know, obviously really good if you have your general chat open and you're looking at the message. I don't think you need to hear a notification for every single time you see it. There's also this toggle of mute in uh, do not disturb, which just means when you're in do not disturb, it will mute it. And finally, there is something called force play where it plays the sound even if the channel the message was sent in is muted. Honestly, it might be a little 50-50. If you're in a whole bunch of servers, it might not even play the sound. However, I'm just going to turn it off. I'm going to go to the Fortnite server because, of course, I love the Fortnite server. I just want to enable all the message notifications possible. <laughs> So now the most beautiful thing about this whole entire configuration is that I can I can now figure out every single time someone sent a message on the official Fortnite server. So before I go mentally insane, I'm actually going to mute the <laughs> I'm gonna mute the Fortnite server. <laughs> That's a good pun. I like that one. I should have said that more often. But I'm going to mute the Fortnite server and I'm going to show you how to uninstall this because, of course, you know, you might, the sky's the limit. You can have any amount of sound effects that you want and different types, you know. But at some point in time, you might want to get rid of all this and just go back to normal Discord. So to do that, it's actually extremely easy. All you need to do is just open up the better Discord installer again. So you can either re download it from the first link in the description or open it up if you kept it. You want to click on I accept the license agreement, click on next, then click on uninstall better discord, click on next, and just pick on the discord version that you installed it to. Right now I'm on the PTB, so I'm going to click on PTB and click on install. And once you restart discord, if you just scroll down, you should see that in your settings, there's no more better discord, which means uh, it's gone, baby. You don't have to deal with it anymore. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Have fun making your own custom discord notification sounds and spicing up the client, if you know what I mean. Anyways, I was supposed to make a whole bunch of cringe at the end of this video, so sussy baka a woe. I love you guys very much. Bye bye. Mwah.